today we are playing by far the hardest challenge in the world. We have only two years for a 55 overall team that's put in the SEC to win a national championship. We cannot recruit anyone that is over a 55 overall. And as you can see, we are put in one of the hardest conferences in the world. There's one special guest to beat the challenge. Ha, it's me, Drisky TV. I'm the QB for James Madison. So let's get this challenge on. On to our first game against the number 21 seed in the country. Ole Miss did not start off well. Drewski TV threw an interception and he returned it for six. How could that be? We put it aside and come back out and almost another interception. What is he doing? If we want to beat this challenge, we cannot have turnovers like that because they will go back down the next drive and score again. And as you can see, we didn't do nothing on offense again. And look at this running back. He absolutely threw him on the ground and he went all the way for six. And that we are down 28 to zero. We have to do something. So Drewski TV. TV rolls out of the pocket and delivers a pass to Green Jr. for a 23-yard reception. And we kind of really can't lose one game. I mean, we're not even ranked in the Sun Belt. In the SEC, we would never get ranked if we lose one game. Drewski TV got up and said, let's get this show on the road. But going into the next play on second and two, he delivers it to Hunter for six. Coming down, bam, we are coming alive. But on first and ten, as you can see, Drewski TV gets that ball back on that goal line. He will run it this time, Juke. Run him over, but he would get brought down. We are down 42-7 to seven in his fourth and eight and they will get a turnover down so we go on and lose our first game 56 to 14 how are we gonna do this for the game number 49 comes up to Juski tv and said get it together we need this game but going into our next game against one and oh lsu our defense didn't look so good early on he got down that sideline but we shoot stringed him early with the 55 overall team i knew this wouldn't be easy but we're gonna get some wins but as you can see on second and 10 Juski tv rolls out of the pocket delivers the pass and he almost gets the first down but going into the next play on third and one Juski tv he rolls out of that pocket again, and he's going to use that speed and go all the way for six. Being that I'm the only option that we have, this is going to be a hard run. I need some receivers to throw the ball to, and that could deliver and go all the way to the end zone, but Thornton was doing some early. Oh, my God, he tried to spin. Here, as you can see on second and nine, Drewski TV is trying to put matters in his own hands. He went and got a first down, and on first and ten, he tries to do it again, and this time he rolls out to a crowd of defenders, and he will fumble the ball. I mean, what is he doing? He's doing too much. It's just when you make a mistake against the SEC team, you see what happens. He will break a tackle. And this little small running back, he was gone. I mean, the speed that he had, I, we just couldn't catch him with the 55 overall defense. After that mistake happened by Jerski TV, the offense never scored again. But as you can see, we will go in and score our last touchdown of the game. We got absolutely whooped 51 to 14. Now, if we win this game right here, we will be on the map. We are going against the number one Alabama and it started off intense. I delivered the pass to Green Jr. for a pretty big game early. Driving down that field early on first and 10, I delivered it to Lewis with the first touchdown of the game. Let's get it started, baby. But Gibbs will stiff arm his way into the end zone. They were not backing down. On first and 10, I threw another dot to AJ Obis. Oh my God. I mean, with this 55 overall team, it's like our offense could do it, but our defense is just slow as could be. I mean, they just could not catch Bryce Young and he's not even the fastest. Well, getting the ball back, this probably messed us up. We had to punt it back. Every time we get a chance to score, we gotta have to try to score, but Kool-Aid McKinnistry hit that sideline on a punt return, cut it back inside, and we'll stiff arm till the end zone. This could not be real. Did James Madison drop their head? No, they didn't. We strike back with another touchdown, but we are down by two touchdowns now with three minutes to go in the game. I break a tackle, throw it across the field, and it gets intercepted. I don't know why Drisky TV would throw that pass. That was just terrible but they were absolutely fired up and we were going to lose another game 35 to 21 game in game out we're going in to try to get our first win each game that we go in and as you can see tennessee took it to the crib to start it off they were not playing with us and did you think that stopped drisky tv no it did not on first and goal as you can see rolls out of that pocket and could go all the way for six and on third and five we go and get a three in out on them boys but i throw it right back to them. They get an interception and that is not good. Being in the position that we are in, we cannot make any mistakes. Every time we make a mistake, they go and capitalize off of it and we cannot do that and on 4th and 6, I will capitalize to the tight end for a pretty big gain and on 1st and 10, I will sit back in that pocket and throws another one to the tight end for 6. That's one thing about us. We're gonna strike back as well, but on 2nd and 2, as you can see, McCoy gets the ball and he will hit that sideline and our defense just cannot hold him. I mean, just after a while, I think our defense just gets 
really gassed out and the offense but later in the game we just start to give up and as you can see Juicy TV throws an interception and he tries to hog him down will he no he gets thrown on the ground like a little boy and they will go all the way for six we're going to lose another game 49 to 14 I'm not giving up just yet to our next game against 3 and 0 Auburn it's time to try to at least put us on the map by giving them their first L but Juicy TV absolutely had enough chuk, chuk, oh my god that was filthy but after a great run he throws an interception and I mean with the old line we have he's getting a pass rush so he kind of has to throw the ball kind of fast it's not all on Drewski TV it's other factors why it's making him play like that he needs better receivers he needs a running back to run the ball he can't even hand the ball off but as you can see he throws a crazy pass to Green Jr. Getting down to the goal line on second and goal he puts matters in his hands runs it in and gives all praises to the most high but on third and ten as you can see they throw a bomb and we cannot stick with him our defense is too slow absolutely too slow i mean if we plan on doing what we're supposed to do and beat this challenge we have to have a great offense and defense but as you can see it's kind of getting out of hand they go in with another one and every time it gets later in the game the score just gets outrageous but this time we're making a comeback and drewski tv is in the two-point conversion to take us 36 38 but as you can see on third and five they will bounce it outside and he could go in for six and we're going to lose another game 45 36 Six. We were going to lose another game. We were going to lose another game. We were going to lose another game. I'm tired of hearing we're going to lose another game. We have to win this game or this challenge is over for this year. But on first and goal, as you can see, I get down to the goal line and throw a dot to the receiver. Here, as you can see on first and 10, they will throw a dot. And as you can see, this number nine got up that field and he could and he would go all the way for a six. And our defense needs to be tuned up or something because just look at this running back. That is unacceptable. He run out of the middle. And he just didn't really get touched. On first and 10, Drewski TV rolls out of the pocket. And it was almost an interception. But oh my God, somehow some way Thornton came and caught the ball. But on second and nine, Drewski rolls out of the pocket again. And Thornton goes in for six. It is now 14 to 14. And so Rat gets an interception. This is the JMU that I'm talking about, baby. They are coming alive. And on third and 16, Drewski TV goes out of the game. And he throws an interception. What did they do? And why is Drewski TV out of the game? And things are going going crazy the Gators will go up and run the score up I think Drewski TV had gotten hurt but this quarterback hit this sideline and after Drewski TV went out of the game things went downhill and we will go on and lose another game 53 to 17 we had absolutely lost the challenge for this year so we chose to sim the rest of the season and as you can see we went 0-12 that's horrible we did nothing we rebuilt it nothing what was better for the staff is the fire coach they said like water boy you're fired, water boy. Coach, you're fired. After seeing JMU go 0-12, there was a coach that came out of retirement. Jack Baduki is coming to James Madison to rebuild this program with a 55 overall team. He is going to do it. Not only is he going to change the program, but he has changed the SEC conference that they were in. He goes to the SEC East, and things are going to get dangerous. On to our first game of the second year of trying to rebuild this 55 overall team. Jet Baduki was not playing when he said he was on the way. And Drewski TV delivers it to Thornton for a pretty big gain. And on second and goal, Drewski TV will roll out of the pocket and take it in for six. This is a great start. And on third and six, as you can see, we get a three and out. But on second and four, Drewski TV will run that ball right up the middle and go in with the second touchdown of the game. But on first and goal, they drop down the field and FCS East was not playing. They got their first touchdown as well. But on first and ten, Drewski TV was sitting in that pocket and and over the summer has gotten better. Our defense is finally coming apart. They are going out there and getting three and outs and they're coming with intensity. I mean, I think Jeb Baduki did it. But on first and 10, as you can see, Drewski TV rolls out of the pocket, throws it off his back foot to Thornton. And oh my God, that was the craziest throw in history. And Drewski TV goes in and we will win our first game in a year. To our first SEC game with Jeb Baduki as the coach, Thornton got on that return on the special teams and he hits that outside you can weave and he could get back up if they rallied that ball but Drewski TV rolls out of the pocket throws it to his tight end Horton and he goes in for six but on first and ten as you can see the defense was sitting back there but Arkansas will take it for six our defense is just not there just yet I thought 
there were, but not just yet. But look at Trisky TV. He throws a dot to Thor in for six. That might have just been the craziest throw of history, but Arkansas draws back down and score again. Every time we score, they are striking back, but who was guarding Thor? And he is my number one receiver. He is absolutely crazy. But on first and 10, as you can see, I throw another dot to Brown. He didn't even know he had the ball. And he would get up that field with bad intentions and go all the way for six. But on third and six, they will strike again. And this time, they are up 42 to 35. But I throw another dot in four. And oh my God, he goes all the way for six. Later in the game, we will run the clock down. And as you can see on second and goal, I will take it in for six. But they will get the ball back with three seconds. And he will launch the ball. But guess what? That defense hold it up. And we will get our second win of the season. 63 to 59. Going to our next game against two in one Georgia is time to knock them off as well and on third and ten we will go all the way for six but they will strike back as you can see he threw our defender off and made him look crazy but Drewski TV said I wanted revenge on first and ten he throws a dot all the way across the field of green he breaks a tackle and as you can see he breaks another one and he gets up that sideline and this could be the best run in history and down to that goal line Ajia Obese goes in with another one but Stetson Bennett said he wanted to strike back he kept the ball and went in for six to take them up 28 21 but things started to get out of hand the running back will run it up the middle break one tackle and make the defense look like a fool Drewski TV is a tough one he is gonna strike back every time time we are down he throws a dot to Thornton for six I mean every time Georgia got the ball back they were not playing who did he think he was he stiff armed two of the defenders and that was just disrespectful but on first and ten Drisky TV won his revenge Thornton joke oh my god he gets back up the field with bad intention that was absolutely filthy but dropping back down the field Drisky TV goes in for six and we will go on and lose the game by one point but after losing that game we're kind of already out of the race to to win the natty so we might as well just go out with a bang but we start off early against the number six seed alabama and as you can see he died but fumble so that was a touchback unfortunately but on third and 11 we got lucky and this db was hyped up for no reason i mean we got a turnover but you shouldn't be hyped you got burned on third and 13 drewski tv throws a dot to brown and he could get up that sideline and he will get brought down but on third and goal as you can see he rolls out of that pocket as always and throws a dot to thor and and as you can see, it is a tight ball game. But this DN was just coming. And he absolutely sacked me. But Drewski TV went out after that. And on third and 27, Atkins throw a dot. Oh, my God. But Drewski TV comes back in and throws a dot to Brown for the touchdown. But on second and three, Gibbs comes back in for six. But on second and ten, Drewski TV will roll out of that pocket. And will he throw a dot? Yes, he will. Horton gets up the field. And bam, oh, my God. But on fourth and inches, it is 42 35 we are up and i wanted to run the score up we go on and win 49 to 35 we beat alabama after losing those two games we we're already out of the race so i chose to sim the rest of the season and we went three and nine that's absolutely horrible we absolutely failed the challenge but most importantly coach yet baduki will keep his job drop in the comment down below did you like this video or not or was it just a dope vid